Hi everyone, I'm Tori Gubeshi, the Community Manager for Asteragos Curse of the Stars. I'd like to act on behalf of the development team to thank you for your support for the game since the launch and providing so much valuable feedback for us. Let's move on to the introduction of Patch 1.04. First is the key binding and control settings. We have been working on this since the release of the demo, and now you will be able to customise your controllers as well as keyboard and mouse. Also, you will be able to use one button to jump now. You don't have to press two buttons anymore. Opening the system menu will now pause the game, and we have also added new camera modes for lockdown targets as well as adding an option for you to adjust the camera distance for your own preference. Talking about potions, now they will automatically refill from your storage when you die or rest at the conduits, so make sure that you have them installed in your storage. To encourage more free roaming and exploration, you will not lose any stamina while dashing when you're not in combat. Also, you'll be able to perform weapon techniques while dashing. Talking about outfits, the Battle Maiden outfit is now account wide, so when you unlock it, you'll be able to start with this outfit when you start a new game. We have also improved Hilda's and enemies on hit animations and visual effects to make sure that the combat feels more engaging. We also tweaked the effects of some skills and talents to make all weapons feel more balanced and enjoyable, especially talking about buffing the hammer and the bracelets. We also made a lot of bug fixes, so we really appreciate your help and your constant feedback. Last but not least, if you enjoyed Asteragos, leaving a review is the best way to support us. We will continue to work on content updates and improvements, and we hope you enjoy your adventure in Affies.